There are two extremely popular Ultrabooks on the market right now. The Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 and the 2020 MacBook Air. So which one do you think is the better option in 2020? Let's go ahead and dive right in. For more great content just like this, just make sure to subscribe and then turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Also, leave a like and a comment down below with all of your thoughts on this video. And while you're at it, I always leave affiliate links down below in the description as well. But make sure that you check out Luster Bill so you can find the best deals on all of that tech that you're shopping for. It's a simple browser extension that helps you make the best purchasing decision. And lastly, don't forget to check out my merch store if you're into some monochrome clothing like everything I'm wearing right here. So with that said, links to everything down below. And the first contest is going to be in terms of the exterior design of each product. So let us go ahead and start off with the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. This laptop, well, this model in particular comes in this beautiful blue color that looks incredible from every angle. It's super thin, super light, and mostly constructed of magnesium alloy. You've got a magnetic charging port on the right and the USB-A, USB-C, and headphone jack on the left. A MacBook Air is made of a stronger aluminum material and it makes it a little bit heavier and it's slightly thicker than the Surface Laptop 3 as well, but only slightly. And it's comprised of this unibody construction that feels incredibly solid. It's a stylish laptop on its own right, and less overstated I would say. It features two Thunderbolt 3 ports and a headphone jack. And personally, in terms of design, I much prefer the Surface Laptop 3 here. And I'm sure that that was pretty obvious from everything I mentioned earlier. I just happen to think that it looks better, and the build isn't vastly inferior from the MacBook Airs, and that it makes it a worse option in general, because it's still very strong. Uh, the MacBook Air wins in its I.O. because it does have two Thunderbolt 3 ports, which are very powerful, ports for sure, but design-wise, I think that the Surface Laptop 3 wins by a small margin, or well, because of this color, by a massive one, and it's also going to be due to its interesting design and portability aspect as well. It's just slightly more portable, I would say. And in terms of displays, this was a tougher competition for the Surface Laptop 3. Now, the Surface Laptop 3 has a 16x10, 13-inch, 2256x1506 display that does look quite nice. It gets bright, and the colors are okay by default, I would say. Though they aren't quite as nice or as color accurate as the display on the MacBook Air. The MacBook Air does have a nicer 25 60x1600 60 resolution display that not only offers more pixels, but this display has beautiful colors. And I would consider it to be uh, the best line uh, for color accurate work and content consumption overall versus uh, the Surface series. Now the Surface Laptop 3 is, is better for productivity because of the aspect ratio, but the MacBook Air just has an objectively better display for all intents and purposes. So the win does have to go to the MacBook Air here. And in terms of keyboard quality, this was a tougher competition because they both offer really great keyboards. And the MacBook Air had made the switch to the scissor switches, which means that they do get a lot more travel than the earlier MacBook Pros from 2016. This keyboard is very easy to pick up speed with, and just typing on it is an absolute joy. I really love this keyboard on, on the new MacBooks, for sure. But the Surface Laptop 3 gets the win here, because I do prefer the overall just positioning of the keys in comparison to the MacBooks, as I feel like there's just a little bit more room in between keys and it's just more comfortable. And they also have more travel, though just by a little bit. And these are both just laptop keyboards after all, uh, but also thanks to the Alcatara material on the wrist rest for the Surface Laptop 3, it's also just so much more comfortable to type on it and just rest your wrist on it. So yeah, the win has to go to the Surface Laptop 3 here. And now trackpads was also another tough competition, I would say. And this is going to be because I like them both a lot as well. This was an even tougher one. I do prefer the size on the Surface Laptop 3s because it's still very large and feels very nice, but it's not too big. And not to mention that I do prefer a real physical click over a simulated one like the MacBook Air gives you. And gestures are still very intuitive when it comes to its usage, of course. The MacBook Air is going to win here because it has a more premium feeling trackpad overall that is even larger 
and offers even more surface area for navigation and using all of your gestures. This is objectively the better trackpad between the two, as great as they both are. I'd be incredibly happy using either one, but the MacBook Air does win this competition in that regard. And in terms of speaker quality, this was an easy decision to make. On the other hand, if the Surface Laptop 3 has bottom firing speakers that sound fine and to get the job done, they sound pretty good, I would say. Uh, but the positioning of the speakers kind of ruins the quality of the speakers a bit because you end up having that effect where the sound is just like bouncing on the desk and back up onto you and you're not really getting the full effect of the sound, you're missing out. The MacBook Air has a serial set of speakers that, that are firing towards the user, so you can feel the bass properly and the treble and the full loudness of the speaker in comparison. It definitely sounds more rich and clear than the Surface's speakers, so the win over here it does have to go to the MacBook Air for sure. And now, in terms of gaming performance, there are going to be two very simple categories. Onboard performance, so like in terms of hardware, and just how they handle gaming on their own hardware overall, and also how they handle just game streaming. Put it simply, they both run games at about the same quality since they share almost identical hardware. However, this is a simple answer because there are many more games that are just optimized to only work on Windows versus Macs, and so you can just play more games on here. And it's not even so much of a performance argument here, it's kind of more of who gets to play more games, because in terms of performance, they're almost identical. However, neither can really run AAA titles comfortably, because they do lack in the CPU department, and they do lack in the GPU department as well, since they have integrated graphics not dedicated. However, when it comes to game streaming performance, like with Google Stadia, for example, it's still going to be identical, and because it's just game streaming over the web, essentially. As long as you have a good connection, then you're pretty much good to go. Uh, this part really serves more as a reminder that this is an option for Ultrabook users in general. Uh, but I would say that the Surface Laptop 3 wins because it simply has access to more games and it's really going to perform the same as a MacBook Air just in general when it comes to running the games themselves. Now video editing performance is definitely trickier here, so they each have software that is better optimized to work with their given operating systems. However, since I don't own Final Cut or a Premiere license anymore, I use the trusty DaVinci Resolve editing software, and they both yielded pretty similar results, timeline performance and rendering performance. That performance is essentially just going to be that neither of these are going to be suited for video editing, especially if you're doing 4K video editing. If you're editing like simple clips like in 1080p for instance, then sure, like you've actually got a solid laptop for that, but generally speaking, if you're working in 4K and if you have to make like YouTube videos of this caliber for instance, these laptops simply will not be able to handle it. And I don't even think that, uh, that using Final Cut Pro on the MacBook Air is going to make too much of a difference in that regard. Now the MacBook Air does have a faster SSD, which allows it to write data faster and transfer data clips faster, so I had a smoother time with the MacBook Air in a sense, so the MacBook Air won this test, but this was just with uh, DaVinci Resolve, and it was really just because of of the transfer speed since performance was almost identical overall between the two, really. And battery life is honestly a another tie here as well, because uh, the MacBook Air and the Surface Laptop 3 both gave me between eight to 10 hours of battery life on average with simple usage, which is what, what they're meant for. So I would consider them uh, to be just as good in terms of battery life, really. And I do realize that this was a very fast comparison, and I didn't compare absolutely every inch of each respective laptop. However, you should know that both of these are great machines regardless. And now my personal preference does go towards the Surface Laptop 3. And the reasons for that is that I hate using macOS in general. I'm a Windows guy, and I appreciate having that USB-A port too. That beautiful, unique design of the Surface and the software and games that are available to me as a result of using Windows instead of Mac. However, if you aren't a Mac user already, then I see no reason to get the Surface Laptop 3 instead, unless you did want to give Windows a try. It is an awesome machine. So is the MacBook Air, which offers a better display, much better speakers, and the Apple ecosystem of products that work in tandem with each other, and most importantly, a great design that makes it incredibly portable, and not to mention that you still get two very powerful Thunderbolt 3 ports that are exceptionally great at what they do. They're just so much more versatile than a simple USB-C port. So here's my overall conclusion. 
If you're a Windows user and need an Ultrabook, then just forget the MacBook Air and go with the Surface Laptop 3. The experience is still fresh enough that I love my time with it, really. And if you are a Mac user, then just stick with the MacBook Air because it won't disappoint you with everything that it already offers. Either way, both of these are really fantastic machines for what they are, and I think that both are worth a try. However, this is how I would decide which machine I would end up getting in the long run. So that's what I'm going to recommend to you as well. And with that said, if you would like to purchase any of these laptops, then do make sure to click on the affiliate links down in, in the description as I would appreciate that quite a bit. Every time you use any of my links, I do get a small commission that does help me run things just a little bit more smoothly around here. So if you were to use those, I would appreciate that quite a bit. And also don't forget to give Luster a try. Luster is going to be a really cool browser extension that is going to help you in finding sales and things of the like, and just like other accessories that, that you can use with your laptop too, like things like headphones, microphones, and things like that. Things that would just be useful on a day-to-day -day basis or for more professional use. So, so make sure to go ahead and use them. That browser extension is going to be linked down in the description. So do make sure to use that as well. And also make sure to follow me on Twitch because I like to stream every Friday and Saturday from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern time. So do make sure to stop by as well. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram because those are also a must. But with that said, I'd be happy to answer any questions down in the description or over on my live stream if you're interested. This has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope that this review slash comparison was useful to you. Have a good one and enjoy. Bye-bye.